Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm right in the middle of the class, young man. I know, I'm sorry. I just... Rory, you can't just walk out like that. Not after everything we've been through. You just left. I was still in bed. I mean, what is that all about? Okay, you need to do this later. I can't do this later. Rory, I love you. I love you, damn it. How many times do I have to tell you? God, just talk to me. Okay, out. Right now, just Come! Get what are you doing, man? Get the hell out of here. She's with me now. I told you that. Let it go. I will not let it go. She doesn't love you, Rory. Tell him you don't love him. Everything was fine until you came along. Oh, don't blame me because you couldn't keep her. I swear to God, I'm going to kill you. Oh, I'd love to see you try it. Uh, <laughs> stop it. Stop it right now. <laughs> Anthony, get security. Stop it. Break it up. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Gentlemen, you are losing control. You're in a classroom. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Break it up, you two. <laughs> Rory Gilmore, you should be ashamed of yourself toying with these boys like this. They used to have pride. They used to have dignity. They used to have balls. Damn it, Gilmore. Give them back their balls. This is a pleasant surprise. Hmm. Finn, Colin, you know Richard, don't you? Well, hello, boys. Nice to see you. Logan, I wanted to talk to you. I just heard about the incident. The... I heard that you professed your feelings for Rory. What? Mr. Bell is a very dear friend of mine, as is the Dean of Admissions. What? You know this place. News travels fast. Yeah, look. I have to tell you that while I understand what could have driven you to such a public display of affection, there is a proper time and place for that sort of thing. In a classroom in the middle of class is not one of them. No, I know, I... However, I, what's done is done. It's out. So, I dropped by to tell you that I've spoken to your father. My father? Well, we pounded out a few things. Property agreements, prenups, that sort of thing. Okay, I think that there's oh, been... we came to a very fair agreement. I'm sure you'll be pleased. Now, we're setting up a dinner for next week to finalize the engagement and start talking about the ceremony. Emily is handling all the newspaper announcements, so not to worry, that's all taken care of. But... She is a fine young lady, Logan. I want her to be happy. You'll take care of that, I assume. All right. Uh, I'll let you get back to your coffee break. Nice seeing all of you again. And Logan, welcome to the family, son. I do hope one of his dopey-looking friends knows CPR, or he just might not make it. You're the best, Grandpa. <laughs> All right, who's next? Paris giving you any trouble? Not any more than usual. However, there is a girl in my modern poetry class who keeps kicking my chair. Ah, I do love this place. Right back at you, Grandpa. <laughs> Rory dropped out of Yale. What? She dropped out of Yale and she moved in with my parents who I went to for help and they stabbed me in the back. Everything we worked for. All these years, her whole future. She was supposed to have more than me. She was supposed to have everything. That was the plan. We had a plan. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to jump in here. Uh, I know you think you have this thing handled, but I can help. First off, we call Yale, and we tell him something like, uh, Rory had a chemical imbalance and she was medically out of her mind when she told him she was dropping out. And then we get her out of your parents' house whatever way we can. We lock her up in her room with you because you can talk her into this. You can talk anybody into anything. And then if worse comes to worse, we will drive her to school every day and we will fire her to class and camp out there to make sure she goes. I'll take morning classes, you take afternoon classes or the other way around if it works out better for your schedule. And. I know there's a few kinks to work out, and the kidnapping thing might be a little problematic, but either way, she is not quitting school. This was her dream. I am not going to let this happen. What? Luke, will you marry me? What? What? Luke. Will you? Yes. Well, you don't have to answer, so... Yes. We well, can take a minute to... No. Great couple. No way. Why not? 
You're way too high maintenance for me. The whole place was buzzing about the kids. Even the twins were jealous. Super great. Love to hear that. <laughs> Who needs more? Uh, everybody? Good. I'll be right back. So, Paris, how's the Princeton man? Jamie and I broke up. Paris has a different man now. You do? I'm dating a professor. Tenured? Ages ago. Well, Anna Nicole, look at you. He's brilliant, a writer, very distinguished, handsome. Don't you think he's handsome? Handsome, sure, very handsome. He's a real man. He's just so amazing. I still can't believe that we're together, you know? I made them a little stronger this time. Oh, cool. It'll be fun to watch the cups dissolve. Paris baked herself an older man. Oh, I love older men. They take you to the best restaurants. He went to a conference in Denver this week. He was so nice, you know, really excited about me coming to Florida. He thinks it's a good idea to hang out with people my own age. I kind of hoped that he would invite me to go to Denver with him, but, you know, he didn't. He had to work, Paris. I know, or he's sick of me. No. Maybe he's going to dump me. Mm. Does he still buy you jewelry? He's never bought me jewelry. He hasn't? How much money does he have? Asher isn't rich. Not rich. I'm curiouser and curiouser. You're just being paranoid. He wants you to have fun. And someone who wants you to have fun is someone who cares about you. Both of you, because there are two of you and <laughs> they're spinning. <laughs> Good punch. Just keep me away from any windows, please. Whatever happened to that boyfriend of yours? Who, Jess? No. Oh, Dean. Dean, mm. that's it. <laughs> How is Dean? God, he was gorgeous. He's fine. Is he still gorgeous? Oh, yes, definitely yes. You two aren't together? No, actually, he's married. What? <laughs> Why? Well, he met Lindsay and they got married. She's pretty, blonde, tall, leggy. Oh, good, just what the world needs, another one of those. She's nice, too. Prediction? She's psychic. Since when? Since about six months ago. I think it's not gonna last. Two married 19-year-olds won't make it. Boy, that's a risky bet. I think it's not gonna last because he was way too in love with you. No, but we've been broken up for a long time. Yeah, but he only had eyes for you, girlfriend. A deep, long, soulful, roary eyes. No, not anymore. You don't talk at all anymore? No, we still talk. We're still friends. Yes, you are. Cell phone <laughs> friends. You have your ex-boyfriend's number in your cell phone? I told you we were friends. Uh, first loves are very intense. My mom's still in love with her first love. <laughs> she tells my father that over and over and... Oops, I think I just dialed his number. Madeline, no! <laughs> oh my god, it's ringing! Hang up! It's his voicemail. Oh, sexy oh, voice. Man. Hang up, Madeline. Oops, I think it's gonna... It beeped! <laughs> Talk! <laughs> Dean, hi. <laughs> Uh, it's Rory. I'm sorry to call you like this, but we're on spring break. <laughs> and um, I don't know if you remember Madeline and Louise, but they're evil. And um, we were just talking about you. Um, hi. How are you? <laughs> I'm going to hang up now. Bye. Sorry. Bye. I'm going to kill you. Oh, my God. I'm so going to kill you. It's going to be bad and death-like and... I'm going to go for a walk because this punch is starting to live up to its name. I'll go with you. Don't move because I'm going to come back to kill you. We'll be here. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Can I come in? Uh, sure. You want to sit down? Nope. Gotta stay vertical. What? You have like an octagon imprint on your face. I can't do this anymore, Logan. Do what? This casual dating thing. I don't like it. It's not who I am, and I don't want to make it who I am. Whoa, hold on here. Where's this coming from? It's coming from me, the ravishing creature standing in front of you. We talked about this. I know. I didn't make you do this. I know. I'm not accusing you of anything. This isn't your fault. I don't understand. I thought everything was going so well. What are you talking about? I haven't heard from you in a week. I was busy. I had some friends in town, and... You know what? It doesn't matter. You're not my boyfriend. You don't owe me any explanations. I just don't want to be one of the many anymore. Oh, Rory, come on. Hey, Logan, Cassandra's on the phone. Take a message. She's got a great accent. Where's she from? Lanny, message. Fine, relax, man. Jeez. Go call Cassandra back. We're done here. How are we done here? I said everything I have to say. Which is what? I'm a girlfriend girl, Logan. I have boyfriends, not escorts. Ah. I thought it could be different, but I can't. I'm sorry. Maybe we can just go back to being friends again. Or maybe we can become boyfriend and girlfriend, right? What? I get it. I get what you're doing. I'm not doing anything. Hey, if that's what you want, then just come out and say it, okay? But you coming in here and issuing an ultimatum? I am not issuing an ultimatum. That's not what I heard. I said, let's be friends. That's not what you meant. Oh, I need a taco. 
All right, fine, I'll do it. Do what? I'll be your boyfriend. You can't be my boyfriend. Why not? Because you told me that you can't be my boyfriend. If I say I can, then I can. You have a hundred girls on speed dial. You keep a second bathrobe in your closet for overnight guests. That's all beside the point. You came in here to say you're unhappy with the situation, right? Right. Fine. I've rectified the situation. Problem solved. No, problem not solved. Hey, if I say I can do this, I can do this. Hey, Logan. Thought maybe I could get you to buy me some lunch. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. Could you excuse us for just a second? We're almost done here. Sure, I'll just wait out here. So the Swedish flight attendant should be here any minute. I swear this situation has never happened before in my life. Logan. Rory, do you really want to stop seeing me? No, but I can't. Because I don't want to stop seeing you. OK, but. So then just accept what I'm saying. I like trying new things. It's new. It's different, but I can do it. Are you sure? I know you can do that, but... I really want to believe you. Then believe me, we're starting fresh right now, new beginning. So you want to go grab some lunch? We'll hammer out the details. I should probably change first. Go home, change. I'll pick you up in half an hour. Okay. <laughs> See how good this is going so far? I think I'm going to be an excellent boyfriend. I agree. Now, do you want to go tell her, or should I? Oh, crap. I'll be right back. Did we actually order that pizza? I thought it was just disgust. Who is it? It's Logan. I don't want to talk to him. I got it. Well, well, if it isn't New Haven's favorite whorehound. Is Rory here? Yes. Can I talk to her? No. We can talk to me. What do you want to talk about? Life, love, common symptoms of sexually transmitted diseases? Roy. Rashes, sores, insanity. Five minutes, please. You know, there's a few things I've always wanted to say to you, but out of respect for my friend Rory here, I've refrained. However, the circumstances seem to have changed. You don't know what you're talking about, Paris. I know you cheated on Rory. I did not cheat on Rory. Are you going to deny it? Are you serious? We were apart. Oh, please. We were. We were together. And why the hell am I arguing with you? I don't want you back. You, Logan Huntsberger, are nothing but a two-bit spoiled waste of a trust fund. You offer nothing to women or the world in general. If you were to disappear from the face of the earth tomorrow, the only person that would miss you is your Porsche dealer. You want to chime in here? No, I think Paris has got it covered. OK, that's it. Hey! Rory, I just need 60 seconds. Go away, Logan. No one invited you in. Get out right now before I go Bonaducci on your ass. I'm not going away. I'm not going anywhere. We're going to talk. What the hell is this door doing unlocked? What are you doing here? I want to talk to you. I told you to go. You did, and I did. I left, and I went out, and I got drunk, and I thought about why I left and got drunk, and I realized that you are wrong. I am not. And what are you wearing? Don't change the subject. Can we go in the other room? We're supposed to be together, Paris. You know it, I know it, your life coach knows it. Terrence has been wrong before. When I wanted to get the page boy haircut, remember? Paris, listen to me. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Well, if that's true, then it's all uphill from here. You know, I didn't have to come back here begging you to talk to me. I have options. Right. I do. In fact, I almost hooked up with a really hot chick tonight. I don't see how that's going to help your case, Doyle, at all. You know what? Fine, let's take this out into the hall. You could have hooked up with a hot chick? Yes. In rhinestone buttons? Who was it, Sheila E? I'll be seated, please. Ellen 
Murphy. Hello, Cheryl. I'm here to rescue you. I've got a table for you in Mitchum right in the center. Oh, bless you, Emily. I'm undeserving. Nonsense. It was a terrible mistake, and it must be rectified. Aren't they amazing? The whole combo's amazing. Follow me. Me? I love the Beatles. Mitchum took me to see Paul McCartney last year, and I almost died. <laughs> Come on. So, Richard tells me we have a little problem. Really? With what? With the kids. Logan, Rory. I understand you're not exactly thrilled with the match, that you let that be known to Rory at the dinner she had at your house. <laughs> well, I wouldn't say not thrilled. Then what would you say? Oh, Emily, this is a party. I'm just curious. This may not be the time and place, Emily. Hello, you two. Drop by our table later. Let's make it the time and place. Consider the discrepancies, Emily. Well, that's what's confusing me. They both come from good families. They both have good values. Money doesn't seem to be an issue. We all have money. Frankly, Emily, there's your money, then there's our money. Oh? And our family has a lot of responsibilities that come with that. An image to maintain. Ah, yes. Well, let me tell you this year, we are just as good as you are. You don't think Rory is good enough for your son as if we don't know Logan's reputation? We do. But he is welcome in our home anytime, and you should extend the same courtesy to Rory. Emily. Now, let's talk about your money. You were a two-bit gold digger fresh off the bus from Hicksville when you met Mitchum at whatever bar you happened to stumble into. And what made Mitchum decide to choose you to marry amongst the pack of women he was betting at the time, I'll never know. But hats off to you for bagging him. He's still a playboy, you know. Well, of course you know. That would explain why your weight goes up and down 30 pounds every other month. Yeah, but that's your cross to bear. But these are ugly realities. No one needs to talk about them. Those kids are staying together for as long as they like. You won't stop them. Now enjoy the event. <laughs> Diane, hello. You know, you can admit it if you're lost. I will not lose any respect for you. I'm not lost. Well then, are you planning to murder me? Because people will notice I'm gone. They'll look for me. Paul Anka saw me leave with you. He'll bark. He will bark, and he'll sell you down the river. Yes. Good. Finally asking for directions. We're here. Here where? Are we at Woodstock? I think we're late. Shh, just give it a minute. Oh, are we meditating? I think you need a word to repeat. I don't have a word. Stop talking. That's two words. Shh. Oh. Shh. I like it. Shh. Shh. Oh, what the? I love this movie. <laughs> Check the glove compartment. Mm -hmm. Hold this. And popcorn. Oh my god. You're unbelievable. Well, I thought it was time we saw a movie we wouldn't complain about. What? When he hands you the diploma. I can't decide between thank you and thank you so much. Oh. It's a significant moment, and I want to do it right. If I say just plain thank you, it sounds kind of casual, like he's handing me a slice of pizza. But thank you so much sounds weird, like I'm acknowledging applause after singing a love ballad. Hmm. I think I'm just going to do a polite smile and a thank you. OK. This is it. Yeah. I mean, we've been drafting off each other since high school, and now it's each woman for herself. Who knows when we'll see each other again, right? Paris, I haven't been able to shake you off all these years. I'm sure we're going to be friends for a very long time. You're going to do such great things with your life, Rory. Oh, wow. OK. <laughs> OK, geez, you're on the move. On to the breach. Okay. Did you guys have fun? It's good, really good. First time I ever saw her order a drink. Strange, right? Very strange. Anyway, I should be going. I'm sorry I didn't call you back. It's OK. I was going to. I just. I understand. Don't worry about it. Do you want some coffee or anything? Sure. OK.
Actually, you know what? I can't. Oh, okay. I can't just sit here and have coffee with you. Okay. I love you. I know the other night didn't mean for you what it did for me. But I don't regret it, and I haven't stopped thinking about it since it happened. And not just because it was great, which it was, but because it was right. It was so right, Lauren. You may not see that right now, but I do. And if I have to wait until we're both 80 years old for you to see it, then, then I'll wait. I'm not going anywhere. This is it for me. You're it for me. And I can't pretend to feel any less than I do. I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't. Okay. Don't get up. You're dressed. Why are you dressed? My bag's already in the car. The car? It's downstairs. I just wanted to tell you. I'll be five minutes. I just have to find the closet. Relax. I just grab shoes and a coat. No. No shoes, just a coat. You don't have to come. You're leaving. I have to go with you to the airport. No. I have to go to say goodbye. Rory, no. Yes. I have to wave to you at the gate. They won't let you come to the gate. They'll stop you at security. OK, well, I'll, I'll wave to you at the metal detectors. Rory. I have to go with you. No. Yes. You are leaving for London. Who knows when we'll see each other again? I thought that was all set. What was all set? Christmas, Thanksgiving, Guy Fox Day. That's so far away. Rory, I... if you come with me, I won't get on the plane. I've paid for the apartment for the next year, so you don't have to worry about that. There's still a few weeks left on the car service, so use it whenever you want. I know that you won't, but just in case you need to. I'll call you when I get in, okay? <laughs> what? I keep trying to think of fabulous things to say, but all I can think is say hi to William and Harry for me. I love you, Ace. <laughs> It's so much better than say hi to William and Harry for me. I have to go. Hope you're thinking up superlatives. What are they going to do? What do you think they're going to do? They're not going to jump. They're going to jump. That's like seven stories. They'll die. We're all going to die one day. But those four are today. Six. I see four. I'm heading up. Oh, of course you are. And Finn was supposed to do it, but a few of us figured he'd make it this far, so there's an extra space. Hmm. No. And we're not going to die. No one in the life and death brigade has ever died. Old ones have. I am not going to jump. We're all set. This is Seth. He's the genius behind all this. <laughs> it's very safe. We did a dozen successful test drops. Every potato came through without a scratch. Potato? You can't test using people. That'd be dangerous. Look, thanks for the offer, but uh, I'm here as a journalist, an observer. Journalists do not participate. Since when? Since forever. George Plimpton never participated. What? He's best stuff. Put him in the thick of it. Fighting Sugar Ray Robinson, quarterbacking for the Lions, skating for the Bruins. So he participated. Bill Buford lived with soccer hooligans and amongst the thugs. Ernie Pyle was so deep in the action in World War II, he was killed by a Japanese sniper. Not that you got to go that far. Buford, Pyle, I know. Richard Hodlett was four months in a Nazi prison working for the UP. Hunter Thompson lived with the Hells Angels. Got in the muck, didn't just orbit around it, and it drove his writing. He put you in those bikers' parties, he put you in those bikers' heads. All right, all right. So, you know, those guys participated. I got it. But I. Jumpers to their places, please. You're scared. Well, yeah. And that stops the grades? It's stopping this grade. Come on, you look like you need a little adventure. What does that mean? You're just a little sheltered. Why? Because I haven't spent time in a Nazi prison, been stomped on by hooligans and beat up by Hell's Angels, and Plimpton got banged up pretty good, too. It'll be fun. It'll be a thrill. Something stupid, something bad for you. Just something different. Isn't this the point of being young? It's your choice, Ace. People can live a hundred years without really living for a minute. You climb up here with me, it's one less minute you haven't lived. 
Let's go. Let's go. I am not a fan of letters. They scare the crap out of me, too. We are very high. I've been higher. I'm at a distance from the ground. That too. This is totally safe. And it goes with your outfit. Nice. Why do they look so worried? We're low on champagne. You can back out, you know, no one's forcing you. I know. Vos ipsi parate. You trust me? In omnia paratus. You jump, I jump, Jack. In omnia paratus. I really should have confirmed that those potatoes were okay. Oh, thank God. You did good, Ace. Once in a lifetime experience. Only if you want it to be.